All right, this is a video on how to hook up your reversing contact for a series motor or a permanent magnet. The only difference with a permanent magnet is that we only have two wires on the motor. Most series motors, you'll have a field, two field wires, one here and one here, and two armature wires, which are closer to the armature. So, by we can reverse this uh, motor by reversing either these two wires or these two wires and we do that with this reversing contactor now this is uh, on the reversing contactor there'll be your two wires on our cable connectors on top our two lugs on top which and then we have one lug here on the side and one over here on the other side. Uh, these two wires here are what are going to go to our field. As you see, we have one coming over here and one coming over here. This wire, these other two cables, they can go either way, but in general, one will go to the controller and one will go to, as we have here, the field. So basically our electricity comes in through here and then depending on which side of this big contactor we have turned on, we'll decide which direction either it will come here and come out here. As it comes out this other side, it goes through these windings, comes through here, comes out into our armature and then from here back up into our controller. pretty simple what this does right here these these contactors is by picking one side or the other it's either going to have the electricity go in this side or in this side it goes in one side it comes out the other so that's how we go again our electricity is going to come in here from our controller and it's going to go from our other field wire back up to our controller and from on our other field here is going to go over to here. All right, here we have another uh, contactor, same uh, idea as the one I just showed you, except this is for a little bigger vehicle. And it's got the inside that other contactor, these two are connected together and we only have one bolt coming out, but it's the same thing. And this one's labeled we have for our, our uh, either our field or our armature, whichever one you take, these two wires, these two uh, points go to the two, shall we say, armature wires, one to one side, one to the other. That's going to be the ones that get flipped around. This side here goes to our controller, and this side over here, right here, goes to the other side of our uh, field and of course we have a wire coming from our controller to our field. All right, here's a little photograph that maybe will help some. This is our field here. That's our armature. This is our contactor. Now on the other one we had two things here that were bridged with a jumper on most of the contactors we'll only have one and they jump it inside so as we follow things from our b plus it comes in here and then depending on which one of these guys is engaged will determine on which way it goes through here back out through the top around here over through the armature back out and over here to motor minus on our controller this is our controller now these two wires you can have reversed and that's no big deal. It just changes which one of these coils makes it go forward and reverse. These two wires can be changed also. If there's a B plus written on top of here, then you can hook your controller wire here and the armature wire down here. Either way. 
All right, this is for a permanent magnet motor, and the difference is that we have no field windings because we have permanent magnets instead. So basically our controller power goes in, the two guys, the two coils on our contactor decide which one of these is going to engage and whichever one is. Power goes through the armature, back out, back out through this top wire, and to our motor minus. So that's for the permanent magnet motor hookup. It might be a good idea to try this whole setup with just one 12 volt battery instead of your controller. That way if something wasn't hooked up right, we're not going to damage anything. 